Yasas. I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 103. First up, the recorder now supports double-click and right-click events. Open the recorder panel and start a new recording. Let's double-click this card to enlarge it. Expand the step. You can see the event is captured as a double-click. Right-click is supported as well. Try to right-click on this card and select Action 4 from the menu. Expand the right-click step. The recorder still captures the right-click event as a click, but with the button value set to secondary. Stop and replay the recording. All the steps are replaced successfully as expected. Lighthouse supports three modes of measurement, navigations, time span, and snapshots. Let's take a look at each of them. Open the Lighthouse panel. The new mode options are available here. The navigation reports analyze a single page load. This is the most common type of report. In fact, all the Lighthouse reports previously were navigation reports. Now, what if you want to measure some user interactions like clicking on a checkout button or fill the form? You can use the time span reports for that. Say, you want to measure the performance of adding items to cart. Select the time span mode and start the time span. Perform the actions and end the time span when you are done. You can use the time span mode to improve the experience of your user interactions and single page applications. For example, the report shows the interaction to next pane metric. It is the new metric to help you understand how fast your page responds to user input. You can filter the report by INP and discover if any thread blocking works occurs during the interaction. To learn more about the INP metric, go to web.dev slash INP. The time span mode is great, but what if you want to find accessibility issues and bad practices of a particular state of your page? Use the snapshot mode for that. The snapshot report analyzes the page in a particular state, typically after the user has interacted with it. For example, let's click on the checkout button to open the payment form. Click on Analyze Page State. The report reveals some accessibility issues of the current page state. To learn more about the use cases and limitations of these different modes, click on the Learn More link here. Next, a couple of UI updates on the new Performance Insights panel. Dev to now zoom in based on your mouse cursor. Previously, zoom in was based on the playhead position. This is inconvenient as you need to constantly move the playhead and zoom in to the correct area. With the new changes, you can move your mouse to anywhere in the track and use Control Scroll or Command Scroll in Mac OS to zoom in to the area you want to focus right away. Apart from that, we added a confirmation dialog when you click on the Delete button. No worries if you mistakenly click on the Delete button again. Go to goo.girl slash dash performance to learn more about how to get actionable insights with this panel. Next, you can now reorder panes in the Elements panel based on your preference. When you open DevTools on a smaller screen, the accessibility pane is hidden under the Show More button. If you frequently debug accessibility issues, you can now open the pane and drag it to the front for easier access. You can reorder the panes anytime, and DevTools will persist your settings. Next, you can now pick a color outside of the browser with the color picker. Previously, you could only pick a color within the browser. In the Styles pane, click on any color preview to open the color picker. Click on the eyedropper icon. Use it to pick color from anywhere within or outside the browser. Next, the debugger now shows the inline values preview correctly. In this example, I have a function to double up the input value A. Put a breakpoint at the return and run the code. The inline preview shows value A 
and acts correctly. This helps developer to track the values quicker. Previously, the debugger did not show the value x. Here is not a bonus tip, but a piece of news for you. Google I.O. this year is just over. Have you watched my Dev2 State of the Union talk yet? In that talk, I have summarized the four main areas the Dev2 teams is currently working on. Go to goo.girl slash io22 dash dev2 to watch it. There is also another session by Cynthia on debugging accessibility with Dev2. Go to this link below to learn more. Chrome is here to create a web that is instant and connects people, no matter of device or bandwidth. This link here contains the IO22 recap on how we are making it easier for you to build experiences that people will love. All right, there are more new features covered in my blog post. And as usual, the link is in my video description. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 104. Ciao!